Welcome to TechCast with Jake. I'm Jake Notamaker. In this episode, I'm going to show you how to make your internet web browsing experience safer, more private, and faster with a few easy changes to your web browser. So the first uh, thing I'm going to do with my web browser is I'm going to uh, go ahead and I'm going to ch uh, add a extension or an add-on. I'm using a Chrome browser uh, in this example. And what I want to do is I'm going to install a, an add-on or an extension. Uh, some browsers call them add-ons, some of them call extensions. So whatever browser you're looking at uh, or use, just look for extension or add-on. So I'm going to go to uh, get extensions. And the one I'm going to install first is called Privacy Badger. So I'm just going to do a search for Privacy Badger. And here it is. And it is uh, an add-on developed by the Electronic uh, Frontier Foundation, which is a privacy and rights group, uh, which does amazing work. And I'm going to go ahead and install this. And you'll see their little logo is a has a little badger icon, and you can read about it here. Now, what Privacy Badger does is basically it blocks tracking cookies that follow you around the internet. And I'll talk about cookies in a minute. Uh, but what I want to do is kind of clear out, out of some of these. And I want to go to a website. Just to, I'm going to go to eBay. You'll see my little icon over here, my uh, privacy badge icon. It has a zero showing that it's not blocking anything at the moment. Uh, but if I click on it, it's going to show me... Uh, a button because when you go to a website, it's going to show you're not just going to that one website like eBay. There's actually all these hooks going to other websites, primarily primarily like ad tracking websites, um, and you know there there could be Google Images sites, uh, all sorts of uh, different websites you're connected to. So if I look at my privacy badger, there are 25 different websites here. It says potential trackers. All right, so if I take a look at this, this is a huge list. You'll see like there's hooks going back to Facebook, to Google Ad Service, uh, Google, MathTag, you know, all these different websites. So it's all they're all interconnected. All right, so I'm going to go to, I'm just going to browse around a little bit just to see if we can get some action with our privacy badger. I'm going to go to Amazon and... Let's go to let's go to another one. Let's go to Ford Ford.com. And it, the more you use it, it's what it starts to do. It'll uh, Privacy Badger will start recognizing that there's cookies being planted on your browser, and uh, whoever's planting the cookies is actually tracking your movements. Okay. So I I have three. Looks like there's three cookies right here that are tracking me. So I'm going to click on my Privacy Badger again. And here we go. So we have uh, this demdex.net, double click. Uh, there's two double click um, properties that are tracking me out of seven. And so this is what Privacy Badger is doing is blocking these cookies here. There's three of them that it's blocking. And there's others here that it is unsure of. Like there's no indication that they're tracking me. They're probably delivering cookies to my browser, but they're not tracking me. So you know, having uh, these brow uh, these websites tracking your movement is, of course, a privacy concern. Uh, you know, it takes that anonymity out of browsing the internet. Uh, okay, so I went back to eBay, and now, now we see that there's five trackers now at this point. So what Privacy Badger is doing is learning that oh, you know, there's some you know cookies being planted that are tracking my movements, and I can scroll down here and see. It's, yep, that Demdex, double click, more double click, a lot of double click. And it's tracking me to see where I'm going. So it's this way that uh, you, know, you probably see these, this tracking uh, really appears when you go to, from one website to another. Let's say you go to Amazon and you do a search for you know, some product, uh, let's, say, uh, or a, let's say a camera. Let's say it's a Canon camera. And then you go to eBay or Facebook and you see that same, like all of a sudden you'll see that ad, an ad for the Canon camera that's like, you know, they, they're trying to get you to buy that. So that's a tracking cookie that does that. 
All right, so, so as you can see, like there's all these hooks going in to um, different websites and they're trying to track you. So what I want to do now that I have, well, uh, now that I have this privacy badger installed, I'm going to clear out my cookies and I'll show you how to do that. I'm going to go to my settings on my browser. Actually, let me, let me turn this off. Let's go to, let's go to Google. <laughs> Just so I don't have that annoying trans, um, slideshow going. All right, so I'm going to go to the settings here and I'm going to go to more tools and I'm going to go to clear browsing data. All right, what I'm going to do is delete the cookies out of my browser. All right, so no, your normal, uh, you'll open this up, the normal uh, setting is basic and last hour. So I want to click on advanced and I want to click on all time. All right, and so from here you can see that I'm being tracked by 170 websites. There's uh, 21 items in my browsing history. I have 40 megs of 40.2 megs of uh, cached images and files. So I'm going to go ahead and clear that stuff out. Uh, I can clear out anything else here. Uh, this is the autofill form data. Maybe I don't want to do that. Uh, content settings. Let's clear that out. Hosted app data. Uh, you know, I'm going to leave that there because that might be. That's from Gmail uh, Cloud Print. That might be okay. I'm not, I don't think that's that's harmful. So I'm going to clear that out. And so I just cleared out all my cookies. So I don't have any tracking cookies at the moment. All right. So the next uh, add-on I want to install is going to be. Uh, I'm going to go to. It's going to be um, an ad blocker. So I'm going to go to my settings. I'm going to go to more tools. I'm going to go to extensions again. And I want to search for uh, an ad blocker called Adblock Plus. I'm going to scroll to the bottom, get more extensions. And in here, in the search window, I'm going to type in Adblock Plus. All right, so this is a, an ad blocker that's been around for quite a while. Uh, you'll see, you'll notice the icon. It has a red stop sign with A B P Adblock Plus, and it's it's uh, it's very good. It's very helpful. There's a lot of knockoffs out there. Like here's Adblocker Genius Plus, UBlock. So they're trying to trick you into getting these, and I don't know anything about those. All I know is that this is one I've been using for a long time, and it's reliable, and I trust it. So I'm going to add that to my Chrome browser. Add extension. All right, and what that's going to do is that's going to give me a, an icon here with the little red stop sign and ABP. All right, so uh, this you can actually just you know install it and go. But I'm, the reason I'm installing Adblock Plus is because I don't want any ads showing up. Uh, before I configure this, I'm going to show you. Actually, I'm going to disable it for right now because I want to show you. See, I'm gonna go. If I want to disable the ads, I can always go back to my extensions in my settings. Uh, if I want to disable these, I can just uncheck it right now. So I'm gonna uncheck it so it goes away. Because so I want to show you what I'm trying to accomplish here. I'm gonna to go to Facebook. Oops, I just did the try <laughs> Facebook.com. If you go to Facebook and I gotta log in. And if you go to Facebook, the way that Facebook makes their money, of course, is through is through ads. You'll see that if you'll notice on Facebook, I have two-factor authentication enabled, which I highly recommend that you enable two-factor authentication for all your, or whenever, wherever possible for your social media, for your email. And so I'm going to put in my code that I'm getting off my phone. And I'm going to go ahead and save that. All right, so I'm going to show you the ads that Facebook serves up. So Privacy Badger is really good about keeping those blocking cookies off your system. But what it doesn't do is that it doesn't uh, block uh, ads, really. It's not really designed for that. It's more of a uh, privacy tool. Because, uh, you know, Facebook uh, and other websites, they make their money off of ads, you know, by the selling ads. So here is... Uh, this, you'll see it as sponsored. There's sponsored ads right here. Bark, you know, there's a couple ads here. 
So I'm still going to see these, but let's say I don't want to see these. I want to have, I don't want to be uh, presented with any ads. So what I would do is install my Adblock Plus. In this case, I already installed it. I'm just going to go back and I'm going to enable it right there. Actually, before I do that, let me show you one other one other site here. I'm going to go to just we looked at Facebook. Let's go to Google, and let's say I want to do um, a search for Canon cameras on Facebook. So you'll see on Facebook uh, that there's these are sponsored ads here, and then if I look down here, I see ad. And there's an ad here. And what uh, what I'm going to do is uh, well, I'm going to enable Adblock Plus Plus so those ads get disabled. Okay, so those are purely for you know there's three reasons that, that that I want to block ads. One is the annoyance of having ads cluttered on you know wherever whatever website I go to. It's annoying to me. I want to uh, maybe I want to read articles or do research, but I don't want to be seeing ads all the time. Uh, two, you know, the ads can be used to manipulate you. So uh, it's not necessarily ads that you're seeing for a product. It could be an ad for a website, you know, to try to get you to donate to some cause or, you know, you know kind of manipulate your emotions to try to, uh, you know, get you to donate some money to a political organization or some charitable cause, which, you know, you maybe you don't, don't want to do that. You don't want to be manipulated. But the third reason that you want to, uh, you want to, block ads is for security purposes because a lot of the a lot of hackers and cyber crooks will inject um, their I guess malicious websites they'll buy ad space and they'll show up in these ads and if you unwittingly you know click on it, if you're not careful you'll click on it you'll end up at a bad website with uh, malware or some kind of scam so I'm going to show you that really quick I'm going to go to ask.com see if this works and I'm just going to do a search on ask.com I'm picking on ask.com because I know that they might be there yeah I've had problems with them in the in the past okay so you'll see that there's these are ads that people are buying these companies are buying to have their ads presented here and if I scroll down a little bit I'll see this um, this website it looks kind of funny electrical handy dot site a full service residential industrial commercial electrical contractor okay now if I it sounds innocuous but when I click on it we're going to end up with a tech support scam you know call this number you're you know in big trouble you have a virus on your computer you're gonna have to call, um, call this number so they're gonna try to scam me out of some money so I'm gonna go ahead and delete that uh, I, that's just a scam it's not infect my computer with a virus or anything all right, so what I'm going to do is uh, I'm going to enable my Adblock Plus. I'm going to go back to Extensions. I'm going to enable it. And then we're going to go back to those websites. We're going to take a look at them and uh, see how the, it, how the how Adblock Plus does protect you from those ads. Oh, one other thing uh, before I do that, I'm going to go to Configure Adblock Plus. I'm going to click on the icon and go to Options. And you'll, there's a setting in here to allow some non-intrusive advertising I'm gonna be really aggressive and uncheck that so I'm not gonna see any advertising whatsoever what this is is an non-intrusive advertising is that there's a third-party group like a like an industry group that gets together and they promise not to you know have deceptive advertising and stuff like that and that's what Adblock Plus is presenting to you know, in agreement with this group is to present safe ads if you want to call them anything. But I'm going to go ahead and uncheck that one because I don't want to see any ads. Now I'm going to come back here. I'm going to go to, back to ask.com where I got that scam. Yeah, and I'm going to refresh. And you'll see that all I am present that ad, that ad sponsored ads is gone. All, all I receive here are web results. So these are the organic web results from the Ask search engine. So that's gone. So I'm not going to see those uh, scam ads here. I'm going to go back to Facebook. And I'm going to refresh here because you'll see these sponsored ads here. And we will see that those disappear. And this is also going to take care of any ads that you end up on any news website and things like that that you'll see advertisements in the middle and 
you know, sometimes you gotta, you'll see like a, a gray box now that I have, that I'm blocking it. But you'll see that these ads are gone. All I see is trending. So the Facebook ads are gone. And it even works on Facebook, or I'm sorry, Google. Uh, let's see, I'm gonna do that search again. Camera. So if I do a search, you'll see that there's those ads are that were there before are gone. And all I'm presented with are the organic search results, which is probably what I was looking for. And just to show you what that looks like, let's say I wanted to, there's some website I did want to enable ads for. All I have to do is click on my AdBlock Plus and I can just click on, you know, the innate, toggle the switch, enable on this site. I'll toggle that. And then I'll just refresh and the ads will appear. That's kind of handy to have because sometimes what happens is that you end up going to a website and it says, hey, you know, we notice you have an ad blocker and we make our money from ads, so can you please disable your ad blocker? And you could uh, indeed turn off your ad blocker for that particular website uh, if you so choose, if you want to support that website, which, you know, it's a good idea, you know, for the websites you like. All right, so I'm going to go ahead and re-enable my AdBlock Plus. So that's the ad blocker, very, very aggressive, and it's a, you know, it's a great tool. And my the last thing I'm going to show you is that the last plugin is going to be for one called, let's see, I'm going to go to my extensions. Yeah, this last plugin, I'm going to scroll to the bottom, is going to be uh, called HTTPS Everywhere. Okay, so HTTPS Everywhere is a plugin uh, made by the Electronic Frontier Foundation uh, again, you know, so it's reliable. And what this, uh, what HTTP, HTTPS is, is an encrypted um, web connection. So why that's important is that when you're browsing the internet, if your connection is encrypted, uh, nobody can see where you're going. You know, so no outside people like your ISP or, you know, let's say that you're, um, you know, using somebody else's network, like, you know, you're using uh, Starbucks, for instance, your connection will be encrypted. So it'll be invisible to anybody that may be snooping on your connection, or it could be, you know, you know who knows, maybe you're at a, uh, at a client and you're using their, uh, their Wi-Fi network, you know, they, they, there's a potential there for them to snoop on you. So what HTTPS does is it will force a encrypted connection on any website that you're um, that you're trying to use if it's available. About 60% of the websites now are uh, encrypted. You know, have that HTTPS available, and this will force that to occur. So I'm going to click on uh, Add to Chrome. I'm going to add this browser and add extension. And that's going to install, and it will show up here with an S, and it says it is installed. And that's it. That's the that, that's done. That one is really easy to do. So again, uh, this is uh, there's the three add-ins: Privacy Badger, HTTP, HTTPS Everywhere, and the last one is AdBlock Plus. So install those three and you're gonna see your internet connection speed up. It's going to be a safer connection and you're gonna enjoy more privacy. So thanks again uh, for watching uh, TechCast with Jake and be sure to leave any comments or questions in the comment section. Have a great day.